Hi, I'm Ramin Nasseh from the Economics Department at University College London. And in this video, I would like to talk about the wide range of additional resources that we give to instructors who choose our eBooks to teach economics. Remember, whatever I cover in this video, you can access for free in our website. You just need to go there and register as an instructor. Let me go over through different core ebooks that we provide. Our first book is called The Economy Economics for a Changing World. This book aims to replace the traditional Econ 101 textbooks for economics undergraduates. It covers microeconomics and macroeconomics. It has calculus supplements called Leibniz. And excitingly, it has six capstone units that deal with very relevant topics like income inequality, financial crises, and climate change. Our second book is Economy, Society, and Public Policy and is aimed at non-economists. As its name suggests, the book has a very strong public policy orientation and it's suitable for undergraduate and master's students who are doing uh, degrees that are related to policymaking. And finally, our third book is called Doing Economics Empirical Projects. The aim of this book is to provide students with data handling and data analysis skills by giving them real world empirical projects to focus on. These empirical projects can be either done through Excel or R. And in terms of content, there is a close relationship between this book and the other two books. Now, let me focus on the online resources that we provide to instructors for our first book, The Economy. If you register and log in as an instructor in the Core Economy webpage, you'll get access to this page which focuses on the Core Economy textbook. If you scroll down, you get the Resource Center, and I'm going to click on View All Resources. This page lists all the resources that we provide to our instructors. You can see all of them in this black bar. Now, let's say I focus on lecture slides. And here you got already designed PowerPoint slide for each unit, both for term one and term two. Let's say I am going to teach a unit four, which focuses on social interaction and game theory. I click on it, I download, and I get the PowerPoint slides for that unit. Another additional resource which is very popular among our instructors is our MCQ bank. Here you can download an Excel file that has more than 600 MCQ questions on all 24 units. Now let's focus on one of these questions in depth. Let's pick a question from Unit 3, which is about constraint optimization. Here you got the total level of consumption and hours of free time for these countries. And the question asks, based on these data, which of the following options can be concluded? Here you got option A, B, and C. Now, as you can see, depending on the student's answer to these questions, they can get a specialized feedback for each option. In addition to lecture slides and MCQ banks, we provide answer to all the exercises in the book. Let's say we are teaching unit 13, which is about uh, introduction to macroeconomy and concept of GDP. The exercise 13.1 in the book is about better life index and discusses the alternative to GDPs. And this PDF format provides a detailed answer to this exercise. It discusses the issues of data around better life index. And on top of these, it provides marking guidance to instructors and discusses some innovating teaching ideas about this exercise. Another resources that instructors usually find very useful is our teaching guides. For instance, let's focus on the guide for Unit 7, which is about labor markets. Here we got two of our experts in economics education talking about different ways in which you can teach this unit, the connection of this unit with the overall themes in the book, the links with the previous units, the links with the future units, and they also talk about you know how you can incorporate all these resources that are in the book in your teaching, and they talk about the personal experiences of teaching this unit. 
Finally, if you visit our YouTube channel, you'll find a series of videos from leading economists in the world where they discuss themes that relate to different units of the book. And at the same time, the ebook embeds all these videos within its own text. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a look at our books. Thank you.